what's up youtube it's your boy 2t's back again with another video it is late it's like one o'clock in the morning i'm tired but uh we gotta get this video out you feel me we gotta get this video out so uh last video i told y'all that we was hopping straight into a fight i want to show y'all guys something because i did get a couple questions about this so the whole point of me even doing this whole fight night challenge the whole point of me to doing this is because we're fighting with a bad chin we've been dropped we've already been knocked out i'm sure it might happen some more we've been dropped a lot we get rocked every fight but it is what it is you feel me uh it's boxing but not only do we have to deal with that if you look down here where it says reach i know it's not lit up when i was creating the fighter i skipped over this part accidentally so not only do we have short arms for a tall person we have short arms and we have a bad chin that's the whole point of it we really have to dig in like dig into our bag and box you feel me so that's the whole point of this challenge you feel me uh so now we get ready to hop straight into this fight with keenan duncan so for people who are new here i've been naming keenan duncan a lot so Keenan Duncan was a character I fought in my third fight, second or third fight, whatever. Early in my career, I fought Keenan Duncan. We went all six rounds. He's the only guy I did knock out. I'm his only loss. Got the identical records. Why not give him a rematch? Uh, I did record it, but I couldn't post it. The audio was so bad. But now y'all get to have this fight. Yeah, without further ado, guys, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social medias, and let's hop into this fight. He is a shorter fight, he's 5 now, so I think we'll be able to do that. There we go. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Crusher's last fight was just that. It was a spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. And he don't want to be on the, the ropes. the way he set it up. It was all the little but, uh, things that he did. He's not the type of fighter to, like, he gives pressure, but he don't throw a lot. If you are the fighter so, with lower stamina, and you know it, going up against a guy who can really go the distance. I'm not really scared about it. I'm scared of his right power. He can knock oh, us out. I don't know that you go after it right from the gate, because then you're basically telling your opponent, I have no chance. I'm desperate. I think you go out there. Remember, guys, like, like I told y'all, to we went distance. six rounds Maybe with him. Maybe start to slow things down a little bit and worry the about the first time we fought him. Himself. This time is a ten-round fight. Halfway through this round here. He did six of them, so we can't outbox him. So you got to be smart. The killer showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. I'm going the wrong direction. It's a softball. I should be going uh, counterclockwise. Get that outside footing. Protecting his head well with his guard. Count down the final moments of this round. Very accurate with the there overhand that's right. A good look. All right, that's a great round punches. for us. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat for his accuracy. And wide punches get what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. Round two. A hammering hook to the head by the killer. He missed that uppercut. If y'all like long fights, this might be one of them. I don't think I'm going to be able to knock him out. If you like pure boxing, hey, this is what it is. I love just pure boxing. I don't really care for knockouts like that. I mean, if it happens, it happens. You gotta remember, I grew up in a Floyd May Money Mayweather era. And you see too many knockouts when it got to uh, Money Mayweather. 
I'm just halfway through at this, this point. round. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just too, created man. enough space and there we then go. landed nice the straight. counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Crusher's got a way of just getting away from that punch. You're still not moving enough. Oh, that's a huge power oh, no. shot to the got head caught, by the killer. Got caught, though. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent is pretty slick. When it comes to managing our stamina, we're doing pretty, doing pretty good bit, right now. A little bit, making I mean, himself a, a difficult bit. target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. We don't have to get reckless. with the left hand it was sudden it was fast it was direct by crusher staying away from those headshots with his defense up top Man, caught me like that one. Oh, get out, get out. Oop, there we go slip out of there duncan's defense is paying off now and coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Tried to hook, didn't get it. Watch the headshot. Relax, relax. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously the opponent go. is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Good way to protect the midsection. I do want to switch softball. Right back at him with a left hand. So, yeah, I'm pretty good as a switch fighter, but... Not against this guy. Seconds to go in this third round. And this round comes to an end. His opponent may regret the way he has started this fight tonight, finding himself I mean, we out already in a hole on Teddy's scorecard, down three but, rounds. But uh, stamina-wise, we're slowing down. Duncan's completely missing still in the, the 90s. And when that's not there, but we hit the low uh, 90s. Still He's still, still in the high oh, 90s, even 98. Stamina right, remaining. <laughs> Gotta manage that <laughs> better. But he's hitting us in the body a lot. Yeah, to fight, to set things up. <laughs> The killer's able to avoid that punch. How about that? Another right hand. Nice one, sir. Seconds to go in round number four. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. What impact from that uppercut by the killer. Bro, he is tagging his body up. That right hand serving well. 
the killer's showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught mm. this, that, yeah, the head okay, moves, but the nice body shot. doesn't. The body is stationary right in front I still of think you. I right now, round, his though. opponent should not be going to that head. Press, hey, go out right, there guys. and be smart with what you're doing. More rounds he was to go very here. smart about when to throw and how to land. And that's the key in the sweet science. Placing your punches, as you said, making them count. The killer's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. On, <laughs> Scored well up mm. top. Okay. Side to side, move your head. Good right hand. Oh, veteran move. Counter shot to the head. Duncan's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. The killer's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. He gives as well as he takes. You know, guys, I'm sorry I'm real quiet. But I'm Still just trying to concentrate on that losing. Number five, minute and a half to go. Keeping his He's hands gonna be up, one of the toughest of opponents, opponents we have. The killer's right making now. this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just. I mean, we're gonna run team. into Hagler well, the and Hearns and actually, you know, uh, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed Carlos to be Manzone, about going in there and eating punches. Uh, it's supposed to be Canelo about going Alvarez, in there and avoiding Charlo's punches. Charlo's the champion. You know, we're gonna run into those guys. Without him so hitting you. he I mean, understands that. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. As far as guys, I know how to beat because I created them. I created this Good monster. So. This is oh gonna be tough. Keep working the bottom. He has his target. He lands a straight right. Duncan's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. That was a good round. Another good round for us, guys. That was a good round. Back to red target. As far as stamina, guys, we, we're close together, uh, so I'm not really worried that much. He does catch a second win, so hopefully uh, we can manage ours pretty well. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good look at right hand after he got hit. The killer's taking his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there in the kind of waters he's never been before. Deep waters. And he's swimming Damn, harder than he's ever had to swim before. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole. It was close. <laughs> Reaching the halfway point of round number six. There we go. Scored well with that straight left. Don't want to hold on to us. Oh, there we go. Finally rocked him. And once again, he returns fire up top. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Oh, how do we not hit him? Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. Great round. Keep your hands up. Don't worry. Here we go. Action to start I the really want to put round. him out, guys. The killer's approaching this so round with the right hook. To the, he looks uh, to be in pretty good shape. To the finish line. If we catch him, we stuff. catch him. He fires one right back after but he's about to catch one. that second Gotta win. Work. Bye, Duncan. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> 
Duncan's wanting the counter punch here. But that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But, you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring, you especially, you see it right goes. away. You, you kind of peek at it right, right away. Here. It's obvious. Maybe maybe he Double doesn't want to see what he has to see. Because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy's for the kind of fight that... You know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. At the halfway point of round seven. Come on, keep focus. Keep moving, keep moving. avoiding that punch he got hit right there but he also gave one solid effort by the killer like guys this is really a tough fight like you got to really think about your punches coming towards the end of the seventh round ten seconds to go That was a good and round. This round comes to start of round number eight here. All right, Duncan guys, I haven't lost a round uh, according to Teddy night, Atlas. But I will say this. He but I really am losing a lot of stamina himself. here. The gas tank is still full. And Ooh. out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Yep. Everything was looking exactly good. the first time now he fought. Looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't Ooh. throwing back. He got See, a little lag. Great defense. I didn't get, you know, uh... Not scared, but uh really frustrating his opponent the now. The Trip, killer's so know. defensively sound it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very I didn't panic, that's what I'm looking for. for. I didn't panic. I see his opponent now. He stayed he calm. He's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's You've gonna lose the it open. Before, you feel me? So nice job. Off to the Duncan. There we go. Momentum has shifted. Well, it is a test of wills, and his will is being tested. Crusher's hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about machoism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on put him out, to guys. get back to win the I fight. Might do it. Combo lands to the head. Putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Mm. Oh, that uppercut got There we go. Finally. Finally. Can he survive it? Just had to break him down. Be smart. And just box. He should be good. He don't get up. He, he should be good. Duncan pit stop. You know, in the Indianapolis 500, one guy's giving the gas, another guy's changing. I can the use these last you know, two rounds and try to get him out. A little water. They gotta do the same thing. Give him some water. Refresh him. I'm gonna hit him the scorecard. Work a little bit, and then just before he goes out, a little advice. Parries that punch intended for the head. He's still dangerous, so we still got to be smart. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Duncan's hit by there we right go. Hmm. Yet another big Left shot. hook. Oh, Finish with the right. Real test. Boom. And he get up after going down a second time. And watch this. Bow. One, two. I think he's good. He good. Duncan's see? back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. The killer's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's now able I'm to block them inside. away. Each man Ooh. able to land an uppercut. 
A little head hunting with the right. Blocks that punch. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine time Just boxing, man. Great defense. The killer's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Clean shot with the right. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, okay, I'm smarter than myself the trying to fight it inside. Joe is shorten up your punches Smooth a little round. bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Fade him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. Keep your hands up, you know, don't get All right, guys, final round, round 10. First time I've ever been in round 10. Probably won't be the last time. You really don't want to go to decision again. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Dropped him twice already. I think we can put him out. in on that overhand right. The killer feeling the effects now of that hook. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Yeah, I'm backing up. The killer doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the Ooh. benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. Halfway through this tenth and final round. Oh, he is. There we go. go down. Mm. Look at that. Duncan. And we did it. And we did it, guys. It came out of nowhere in Florida. Think, Teddy. Do you think he can survive things here? He's been down multiple times now and keeps getting up. History tells us that fighters, when they're pushed to the brink, they find a way sometimes, but not always. Like I said, guys, he's built to fight heavyweights as a middleweight. And now so. just wasting away some time with that clinch. that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Pressure's proving to be elusive. The next All three judges in agreement, 187. Like you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous. It is, it is really disappointing. I wanted that win. I mean, not the win. I wanted the knockout. We dropped him. We got the win. I just want to knock out. All right, guys. So, uh, I already picked out my fight for uh, the next video. We got Carlos Mazzone. So, next video, we hopping straight into it. Y'all know how it is. Uh, that's going to be one of our biggest fights on our resume. We took out Jermaine Taylor. We took out uh, Peter Manfredo. We took out Danny Jacobs. So, uh, Carlos Mazzano is another big name that we need on our resume. But yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow you on my social medias. Guys, I wish I got that knockout for you guys. I wish I got the knockout. But a win is a win. I'm up out of here.